open up the door and spill. If the non stop pop up, I'm staying still. What's up, y'all? Jacob Owens here for the Buff Nerds, and today we're gonna talk about music video treatments. I know in the past, I've made a couple videos about music video treatments, the best tips for writing music video treatments. Um, and today I kind of wanted to touch on that again, but I wanted to offer you guys a little special gift in the description below. And uh, there will be a link to a Dropbox folder and I've included a free like music video sample treatment where you can plug and play your own treatment ideas, photos, etc., for your music video treatments for clients. Um, I've also included two sample music video treatments that I've done for videos in the past, uh, one of which was uh, the Dizzy Wright Pose video. So if you've seen the Dizzy Wright Pose video, or if you haven't, go watch it now. But um, if you have seen it, I included the treatment in there, the original treatment that I made for the video, and you can see how closely the original treatment and idea for the video came to the final version of what is actually the video on YouTube. So that's kind of what this video is about. It's giving you guys some free tools uh, to up your music video game, but also just wanted to refresh your minds on music video treatments and how they land you jobs and why they're so important and how you can make them to the, the best of your abilities so that you can land those mu music video gigs, clients, etc. So basically in the industry, how it works is I will receive a brief from either a production company, a label, it could be the artist hitting me up directly, but typically it'll work. I'll get a brief from some type of company, agency, production company, etc., and it'll give me information, which is called a video brief, such as this is the artist, this is the song, this is general ideas we had or the artist had that they may want to see in their video, here's the budget, Here's the time uh, frame that they want to shoot. And it's kind of a, a brief rundown of the, the, the video, what's all included. And then basically I have to go and write a treatment kind of with all that in mind and submit it to the either label or like I said, the, the agency production company, whoever is sending me that video brief and then hope that I land the job and that the artist and their team picks my treatment and then we shoot the video. So pretty much, um, anytime in the industry, how you land a video gig or a music video is with your treatments and treatments are important. You want yours to stand out and be different than everyone else who's submitting because you want that job. You want to land that gig. So when it comes to music video treatments, the things I've found that have worked best for me and just other people, directors in general, um, the number one thing is just <clears throat> the visual art to it. Music videos in general are a much more visual platform. They're not as narrative. So what you want to do with your treatments is make it as visually interesting and eye catching as possible. You don't want the people or the artists or management, whoever reading a novel about what this video is about. You want to as best as you can visually get across with reference reference images, what the video will look like or be like. But I've seen a lot of treatments where it's just like pages of text. It's like a novel. It's like a book and you're immediately going to lose out because they're looking at, they could be potentially looking at hundreds of treatments. And if they're having to just read a book, it's just not going to land or hit as hard as if they're looking at something where they can right off the bat, see like, Oh, this is what my video will look like. Cool. So making your treatments as visually eye catching as possible is probably my number one tip. Second tip again, don't make it too wordy. Be short, straight to the point, get your idea across without writing a whole book. Like I said, a lot of people, especially in today's world, don't like to read. So the longer you, you make them have to read, the more that idea might become a little lackluster to them. Three, turnaround time. A lot of times when I get these briefs, I try and do it either that day or the next day. The longer you wait, the more treatments they're getting in in front of them. And you wanna try and get that, not only because it looks good to the client, like wow, they're fast. They have ideas fast, they get the work done fast, they'll get the video done fast. You wanna show that initiative, that quick burst. Oh, you get it back, you get it back. You take too much time, someone else's treatment might get picked, or they just look at you as like, mm, they're not that dedicated to the project, they're not quick. Um, and so turnaround time, super important. Another good thing to have in your treatments are links to things. If you have a link to a video that is very closely to how you're looking to do their video or a certain scene or even your website or your reel, just really show what the work can be like, what it's going to be like, what type of level it will be on. Um, again, music videos are such a visual 
um, thing that you really need to get the visuals across because you can word something out as much as possible because you have it in your head you know what it looks like but to them they have no idea what's going on inside of your head and what you're thinking and visualizing so if you can't explain that with some pictures to where they can see it too then chances are they're not gonna understand what you're writing out they're not gonna visualize what you see up here and when it comes to the length of the treatment try to make it as short as possible don't throw a 10 to 15 page treatment together, make it concise, straight to the point, create a mood board so you can put all your images onto one thing, short little statements or bullet points of what the video is or the scenes will be about, consolidate everything. Don't draw it way, way, way out. Sam King over here, ladies and gentlemen, come sit down real quick, get in this YouTube video. You've never been in one of my little YouTube videos. So actually, I'm talking about music video treatments right now. And so I just wrote one this morning, which is why I'm doing this video, but it was based off of ideas he sent me. So we worked together on this. I sent him the song. He actually had some ideas. I said, write them all down, put them together, send them over to me. And then he sent them over my way. I went digging through the web for some reference images. He sent me a few. I put it all together in my little treatment template and I already sent it off this morning. So, boom. Oh, give him a little. Uh, uh. Any any advice for music video treatments? Do you have um, anything? Based on based on experience in the past, other production companies you've seen, anything? Bro. Don't make them 20 pages. That's literally, what, <laughs> that's literally what I just said. I said, don't make a 15 page treatment. It's not a novel. It's not a book. You don't know how many in the early days, like treatments that I sent Jake that like I was overworking, also overthinking. And, and sometimes you can overshoot uh, your client with a great idea that would have landed the project. And Jake really showed me like simplify, keep it simple, stupid. Uh, don't try to put too much in there, like give them the perfect image, but you don't have to like show the whole house. Just give them a little window into the house so they can right. dream and imagine. Um, and that's really the, the best way to get everybody on the same page. And then you can flush out other parts of your creative that's later. A good point. Um, and Jake has really, <laughs> has really helped me grow in that aspect and kind of figure out the best way to uh, kind of land some of these jobs. So yeah. Buff nurse, tell me gay, treat me gay. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm gonna end the video right there. Remember, links in the description below. You can check out the treatment templates, the free stuff. I get giving you free stuff on this one, so go check it out. And if you do want to purchase more, I do on my online store have like six treatment templates, original treatments, all that stuff. That's on my online store. But if you want the free stuff, right down in there. Okay.